First video on Jurassic World the game, and um, yeah. So uh, today uh, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually unlock the indoor raptor. Uh, just to let you know, this is like for the late game errors already. Uh, so yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get the indoor raptor. So first, uh, I probably do not have them have it unlocked at the moment. I see here Indoraptor and Indoraptor Gen 2, it's pretty much the same. Uh except uh uh Indoraptor Gen 2 has more health. So but either way the stats are basically the same. Uh so what what you gotta do here is that uh you have to have a um you have to have a uh, yeah Jurassic unlock uh I mean super hybrid Jurassic unlock um where is it okay, so yeah here it is you need to have uh Tyrannosaurus Rex unlock which you can get in Battle Stage 54 it's currently in fusion and uh, when you get that to level 40 it's fusion with Velociraptor to get um Indominus Rex with the Indominus here, I can only have a level 3 at the current time. No, I do not want to know it. Uh, uh, so, what you gotta do is get this up to level 40, which is gonna take a lot because if you come here, it's good, it could it costs 29,400 DNA. So, that's basically like I think like three weeks already. So, uh, yeah, you gotta get Indominus Rex to level 40. And if you click on hybrid, you will see the Indoraptor right there. And you need to at least have 4,000 Velociraptor DNA, which I only have 3,577 Velociraptor DNA. So I'm like halfway there on Super DNA. However, Indominus Rex, uh, level 40, I still i am pretty far away from because it needs. So to get it to level 40, I need to make another four Indominus Rexes. Uh, so yeah. Um so you better uh, save up on Or if you just want to be safe, you calculate uh you do this. You do 29,400 multiplied by four because level 30 means you have to hatch another four. Uh which can take up days. Or you know, if you come here. It would say seven days because it's a good dinosaur, trust me. It really is. And uh yeah. So getting the Indoraptor can be taking a couple weeks uh for you to unlock. Uh probably even a month. Probably even up to a whole year. Uh so yeah, um at least in this new update you can actually see uh, I'll just come here to, uh, yeah, super hybrid. I only have Diplosuchus at the current moment. Uh, yeah, if you come here to Indoraptor, it'll allow me to view it in a paddock. It is currently the, by far, the most powerful dinosaur in the game. Uh, succeeding Udon, Metrophodon, I think that's the name, or Metrophodon. Uh, Pachyalosaurus, Udon, yeah, it's basically that. It's currently the best dinosaur in the entire game. How, or what do you guys think? Who do you think is the best dinosaur in the game? Indoraptor or Indoraptor Gen 2? Uh, just go and leave your comments down below. And yeah, this is the Indoraptor. Uh, he w it was added uh, uh, on June 21st, 2018. Uh, a day before all the uh, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, what the Indoraptor looks like, but I do not have it. Because I can see, see here, uh, yeah, I never owned the Indoraptor. And, uh, yeah. 
but yeah, that's pretty much how you can basically get in the raptor in Jurassic World the game. And uh, you might be wondering, what is Super DNA? Well, Super DNA, um, uh, Super DNA, you unlock it at level 25, and this is the only way you can actually get Super DNA if you're not VIP. So, uh, yeah, you basically gotta do these missions. Uh, you can change your uh, Super DNA, like, I currently have uh, Velociraptor and Sarcosuchus. And um, basically, these super hybrids, they're pretty much an upgrade of the normal hybrids. And so, yeah. Uh, although, the only one I'm used to is uh, Velociraptor and uh, Sarcosuchus, which uh, I kind of do agree with the game development. And uh, yeah, this time I turned on. Um, yeah. You can't switch it, however, like, you can switch it to, um, I assume, Castle Sutures. Uh, yeah, you can do that. And Star Sutures, but however, I just like Velociraptor and, uh, Dark Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, you, you basically gotta do these missions, which, um, I don't recommend doing. Uh, because I do recommend getting the level 40, um, Indominus Wreck, uh, first, uh, and don't, I don't recommend doing any of the events, unless you want to, like, get towards, like, the Clash of the Titans, but, like I said, Indoraptor is the best, uh, dinosaur in the game right now, and what the hell, uh, Indoraptor is the best dinosaur in the game right now, so, and this one, I get a tournament creature, which, um, I unlocked Brachiosaurus. Oh, no, not that. Yeah, I do have Brachiosaurus right here. Uh, yeah, I got it for the Clash of the Titans, and it's my first ever tournament creature, actually. Um, yeah, it's, you might be wondering, uh, why you're seeing a lot of sharks, it's because it's, uh, apparently Shark Week. And, yeah, so, the, yeah, right now it's currently Diplosaraspus. However, there are some buffs that can help you, uh, reach a uh, level 40. Um, uh, that can always help you with your fusion. Uh, it's like it's 500 um bucks, uh, and um I don't think I am gonna be doing the this Clash of the Titans because the last one I I really wanted Bracket so and I can get Bracket Um, so yeah, um, yeah. Oh, so what I recommend is. Uh, getting a level 40 in Dominus Rex at first. Uh, yeah, it can take up you a uh, couple months. And I did unlock Parno Raptor today. Um, yeah, there it is, Parno Raptor. Uh, there he is. Um, yeah. So yeah, in Dominus Rex level 40, it's highly recommended. Uh, you get first because, um. I'm gonna run off, uh, wait, first, wait, I need to check, okay, I still need to do that, um, uh, yeah, so I recommend not doing the events, but, uh, getting Indominus Rex, uh, level 40 first, so, um, hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, quick video on how to get Indoraptor, uh, like I said, oh, sorry, I'm just having a bit of a hiccup from all the talking I've done today. Um, yeah, so I recommend getting a level 40 Indominus Rex at first, and then after that, you, um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, then, yeah, you can basically see the two the ball. level 40. Um, I might uh, yeah, and the raptor is right here. Uh, 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 if you want to, if you don't mind, mind me reading, then uh, I'll just put whatever. Uh, 
So, um, this experimental hybrid is considered the ideal weapon by Bit Hoskins. It was designed by Dr. Henry Wu to be more compliant and combat ready version of the Indominus Rex. And Gen 2, in a second attempt at fusing Indominus Rex, Gen 2, and Velociraptor DNA, created this unstoppable Indoraptor Gen 2. Its design, it's its design is a recipe too similar to the original, but with DNA from an alternative source. Um, so yeah, that basically references blue. Because as you can see here, there's a little blue stripe going across this Indoraptor. Uh, so yeah, um, that's a small reference to blue the Velociraptor. So yeah, um, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I do have castle switches in hatching. And I do have an unlock that I had unlocked for a few months now. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, small uh, or probably 10 minute video on how to get Indo Raptor. Uh, uh, and uh, I don't know if this is also how to get Indo Raptor Gen 2, but uh, either way, they're unlocked the same way. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, um, hopefully I'll catch on this next, uh, this next video on Fast Forward Game. Anyways, peace out.